Hello, Phil Morris here, the Time and Time Photographer. And as promised, I'm going to show you some interesting things that you can do with these various textures that I gave you um, uh, last week. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up this image and uh, this texture into Photoshop. And here I have the images opened in Photoshop. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, this texture hash and I'm going to convert it into a smart object. And when I opened this image, I went ahead and opened it up as a smart object. So both uh, images are smart objects. And I'm just going to drag this layer over to this image. It says it's a dip, different depth. That's fine. And lo and behold, we have this tiny, tiny little bitty texture. Let me uh, zoom in a little bit here. Now what I want to do is I want to take this texture layer and I want to do a uh, free transform on it. And I'm going to rotate it around. What I want to do is I want it to kind of line up with this uh, edge of this post back here. And so I'm going to down my shift key so it constrains the proportions and uh, actually that's pretty good right off the bat there and I'll hit enter to commit it and actually it's off a little bit let me uh, nudge it over a little bit there we go. Now let me tell you what I'm trying to do. This post back here is a nice kind of grungy sort of post but I really want it to have a little bit more texture to it uh, to kind of help offset the model a little bit. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, texture and I'm going to apply it just to that post. And in order to do that, what I need to do is I need to do a quick selection of the model. And it helps <laughs> if you actually have the proper layer selected. Okay, there we go. Now we're starting to do a quick selection. It takes a moment while it thinks about a few things. And we'll go ahead and select all of this out here as well. All right, now I have the model and this window selected. And what I want to do, and it's not a perfect selection, but this will be fine for the illustration here. So I want to go up to this layer. I want to hold down my Option key, and I want to add the layer mask and it applies that you know, texture to that layer right there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, play around with the blend mode and uh, in this case let's use the overlay blend mode. It looks like she's uh, lining up against, uh, le leaning up against a uh, rattan wall of some sort. Uh, but let's go down to soft light yeah, soft light has got a nice uh, you know, blending uh, ability there, and if we lower the opacity, you know, we get the that uh, crosshatch pattern to kind of pop out on there a little bit. Um, but here's the 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 really cool reason why I uh, did this as a smart object. One of the things that you can do is you can right click and you may not be able to see it on your screen here but you can go down to replace contents and what we're going to do is instead of using uh, the hatch pattern we're going to use the fake tile pattern and we'll place it and what it'll do is it will end up replacing that file in the smart object, it complete with the rotation and the sizing and, and all that, 
with that, that pattern. And in this case, let's go ahead and bump the uh, opacity up to 100%. There we go. We'll bump it up to 100%. And now, let's take a look. The wall before and the wall after. And that wall looks uh, much more uh, interesting and uh, it, it even fits in pretty naturally because it's pulling out all the colors that you know, we had uh, on the the column there and then adding in that texture. Now you can go through and play with some of the other uh, blend modes here to see what sort of effects you can get but really in this sort of case I really like soft light or overlay Overlay is a little bit harder and I'd have to pull down the opacity a bit to give that um, a lot more texture. But this is one of those reasons why you want to go out and, uh, and photograph some uh, interesting textures as well as interesting subjects. Well, uh, my name is Phil Mars, the Time and Time Photographer. Thank you for listening and watching.